As well as making YouTube videos about science, I do live shows as well. One of the live shows I do is called Festival of the Spoken Nerd. It's a comedy show about science starring me, Helen Arney and Matt Parker. And I thought I'd show you an excerpt. Egg excerpt. 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 I thought I'd show you an excerpt. 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 Can you please put your hands together for our experiments maestro? It's Steve Mould! <laughs> All right, have you ever seen this thing where there's uh, an ice skater and the ice skater is spinning around and then when they draw their arms in close to their body, they spin even faster. Have you seen this? Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. But imagine setting that ice skater on fire. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to demonstrate the conservation of angular momentum using fire. And for this, you need uh, a spinning plate like this, sometimes called a lazy Susan. A conscientious Susan doesn't work out. Uh, you need a bin like this, a mesh bin. You need a container for the fire. I like to use a tea light case, so I've just taken the candle out. Uh, and then you need some lighter fluid. This is the perfect opportunity to place bets amongst yourselves <laughs> on how this is going to go wrong. It's not going to go wrong. So, so. Um, though I do have quite a bit of lighter fluid on my hands. Now, uh, which is fine. So the. Uh, Okay, so this fire in, in the middle of the bin is drawing air in from the sides. And if I were to give this bin a spin, then the air that passes through the mesh will be given a little kick, will be given a little bit of angular momentum. And that angular momentum will be conserved as it travels towards the center, leading to what is known as a fire tornado. <laughs> Correct response, Blue Tree. <laughs> I have used too much fuel. <laughs> okay, okay. So Steve clearly forgot to say, don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, I clearly forgot to say, do try this at home. Uh, genuinely try this at home. Uh, uh, I've got, uh, I mean, be safe. <laughs> and don't blame me when it goes wrong. But I've got a whole campaign to encourage people to try this experiment at home, because I think it's a good one. In fact, I've got a logo. Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been through a few iterations. That's uh, the next version. My final vote, that's the, my favorite. <laughs> uh, now, arguably, that experiment wasn't dangerous enough, and uh, you deserve better. So this next experiment, you almost definitely shouldn't try at home. Uh, this one relates to how sodium streetlights work. I'm sure you've seen sodium streetlights before. They look a bit strange, or at least things underneath sodium streetlights look weird, does it have a sort of strange yellow glow? And that's because of how they work. The way it works is if you take an atom of sodium and excite it, then an electron jumps up to a higher orbital, and then when the electron drops back down again, it releases a photon of light. And that photon of light always has the same energy, which means it always has the same color. So all the photons of light coming from these sodium streetlights are exactly the same shade of yellow. And this is good because it means that if you can get hold of some sodium and excite it, then you can make this same yellow glow yourself. Um, and sodium is in salt, so all you need is a salty snack. I'm going to use a pickle. I'm going to excite a pickle. Stevie, you're not, you're not going to take it for dinner first, is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to skip dinner and go straight to electrocution. That's fine. <laughs> So uh, n normally, at this point, I would describe how the, there are some complex electronics involved, and that is to dissuade you from attempting to build this at home. The truth is, it's very straightforward. Um, what, what I've done is I've wired a couple of nails to the mains. Okay, the odds have seriously increased on this going wrong now. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll, just, I'll put on my safety gloves. These uh, protect me from over a thousand volts according to the website, <laughs> so that's fine. Now, uh, <laughs> but, okay, so the thing to note is, is that uh, I, it's a, I accidentally shut up, turned one of my gloves inside out to wash it. He's got a symmetry problem on his hands. <laughs> it's totally fine. I have two left gloves, but we can carry on. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, it's fine. So the, uh, the, you know, the more I use this, the more it looks like a prop from Saw, doesn't it? This is nice. Okay, so what you do is you select the most deserving pickle. 
okay, which is this one. <laughs> and then, uh, so that uh, goes on here. I want to play a game. <laughs> so, no sore fans in? Okay. Uh, so that goes on there. Um, oh, and then some juice goes in the plug. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Um, if that happens, uh, choose a different plug. That's fine. So, uh, but you're not trying this at home. Okay. <laughs> so can we have the lights down, please? Thank you very much. Um, you know, that's partly for theatrics, but partly because if this goes wrong, it, it could be quite a somber moment. <laughs> okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, 230 volts and a pickle. <laughs> so, uh, that is the nerdiest thing you can do with a pickle. And, uh, you know, it's a... I hope you enjoyed that sample. That's actually from our DVD, Full Frontal Nerdity, which is 100 hours of live footage, plus another 85 hours of specially recorded extras. It also contains the uh, director's commentary. It contains director's commentary of the director's commentary. It's got subtitles in English for accessibility. It's got subtitles in binary for inaccessibility. It's got some subtitles in Klingon, even, if you're fluent. Um, it's got special um, Safe for School soundtrack. It's got a, uh, an American language uh, soundtrack. Um, and it's also available as a download in uh, full HD. Go to shop.festivalofthespokennerd.com to get the DVD or the download. And uh, we sell worldwide.